Do you want to get an access to SketchUp and do you want to start modeling on it and start learning the basics? And all of this is for free? If so, then just continue watching. Hey everyone and welcome back to Tips with Mona. My name is Mona Abu Fayyad. I'm an architect and a designer. On this platform, I explain some architectural and designing content. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notifications bell on so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. But for now, let's start our video of today. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is that you go to your Google and you type SketchUp for web, and then you click enter, and then you open sketchup.com, and this page will appear to you. Okay, then, you can start modeling from here and then you will need to sign in into your Tremble account or you can use your Google account to sign in or even your Apple account. Let's sign in with our Google and this is how it loads. It will take some time to load the program and this is the interface of the program. Uh, here you have your recent files so I already used this file before you can open from device you can create new and if you click on this arrow you can change the units of your drawings so let's say uh, choose decimal meters you can choose whatever you like but I like to use meters and this is the interface of the SketchUp for web so this is a free version of SketchUp that is web based as I explained before. So now I'm gonna explain the tools and interface very very fast. This stage will be for beginners. It will be so useful if you don't know how to use SketchUp. So this is our home bar. You can access your project preferences from here. So here you can save things or you can access from maybe your triple connect or maybe from your device you can export you can export to these extensions right here and you can import from your pc you can download it you can have this model as an offline model on your computer by downloading skp for sketchup png and stl you can also change the app settings so here you can change the autosave you can change the language and the uh, and the unit. You can also ch change the access colors. This is not necessary to do. It's easier to keep them as they are. And you can also change the navigation options from here. But I'd always rather to keep them as they are. Let's close this. And here you can save or rename, do and undo in your project. So if I click on Untitled, it will take me to save the project. So I'll choose this folder, which is for SketchUp, and I'll name it, let's say, Tutorial 1 SketchUp, okay? I'll hit Save, and now it's saved on my Trimple account. So anytime I open the SketchUp for web again, I will find it in my SketchUp files. And here, as I told you, undo, redo. And then when you start working, this save button will uh, be enabled. Okay. And on your left-hand side, you will find the tools that you will be needing to start drawing your models. So here you can have your select tool, your eraser tool, paint, line, arc, rectangle, push pull, outer shell, move, tape measure, walk, and orbit. The one thing you need to know that every time you see a small arrow next to the tool, that means that there are different arrows under the same icon, that there are different tools under the same icon. For example, let's click on the line tool. I'll click on it, one click. It will show me that there is this line tool 
and there is the free hand tool so this is where you can access the things you need to know and you need to use while you draw moving to the right side toolbar right here this is gonna be your information toolbar where you can get more information about your maybe tools maybe the model so let's try that out I'm gonna click over here this is my entity info panel so for example if I click here on this rectangle that I just created it will tell me the area the material it will tell me that it doesn't have a material it's only a default material it will tell me any tags if there is tag okay and then here you can have your outliner this feature right here won't be enabled for you unless you upgrade so not all the features in sketchup for web are for free but most of them and the most important features are they are for free and then here the instructor tool this is very very important if you don't know or if you are new to SketchUp it will guide you and give you tips and then over here we have this 3d warehouse where you can download ready models for your project for example let's say that I need this window so I'll click on it and I'll select it I'll download it and then I can use it you can also use this search toolbar right here so you can search for anything let's say that i want a tree i'll hit enter and then i'll find that there is a tree right here and i can download it and easily use it and then over here you will have your components once you have them in your project for example let's say that i have downloaded this chair from the 3d warehouse let's just download it so now i've downloaded this chair and i've placed it in my model i'll go to my components and in this home tab i'll find that chair because it's now downloaded into my sketchup you can easily close these panels by clicking on the x right here now let's move into the materials you can also have materials right here you can change the colors or the materials of your model from this panel you can also search for whatever material that you like you can also uh, put stone metal whatever you like you can change that from here we can dive into that later on i just want to introduce you to these panels i'll close it and then you can go to the styles panel right here in the styles panel it will show you different styles for the models and how they can be shown to you let's say that i want to use this style it will change the way that visibility of your model so I'll just set it to the default colors and then i'll close it and these are mainly the things that you need to know for now so on the lower left corner of your screen you will have your status to power this is will give you the ability to change the language and it will give you the ability to change the method that you are using your input device let's say that i'm using my mouse now but after a while i want to change it to use my trackpad on my laptop so this is where you can change it also it will guide you to use whatever tool that you are clicking on right now let's say that i'm using my, my line tool it will tell me click to set first endpoint and it will guide me to use my arrow keys for example i just clicked the first point now it will tell me click to set second endpoint or enter links one thing you need to know about sketchup that you cannot enter the length while moving your mouse so let's say that i want to draw a line of five meters i'll keep my mouse i'll leave my mouse and then i'll type five on my keyboard because otherwise it will keep moving and it won't take the number let's sit, try that i'll keep moving my mouse and then i'll type five it won't take the number if my hand keeps moving of course no one's gonna do like that with the mouse but maybe your hand might shake the line so it won't take the number so it's better to leave the mouse totally and then type the number finally the lower right corner right here it will show you the length for example let's say that i'm using the line tool again and i click here it will keep changing as i move my mouse so it's increasing or maybe it's degree decreasing maybe also you can use it to type the link as i did right here so when you type the number it will show 
in that box and when you hit enter it will keep that number that you type also you can um, you can measure with this measure tool and it will show you the number in the box and also next to the measuring tool and now let's talk about navigation in the sketchup for web application for that there are actually two ways to do that one of them is just to go to your left to bar right here and you click on carpet and you use these five commands right here let's say that we want to orbit the first one is just above orbit you know that this is a 3d application so you can toggle around to see all the three dimensions of this project and then if you go to the other command right here it's called pan so it will let you move around the project and then you can have your zoom if you hold your left mouse click and a move up it will zoom in and if you hold your left click mouse button and move down it will zoom out and then moving to the zoom window it will allow you to zoom on the window that you make let's draw a window right here it will zoom into that window and then i'll go to my zoom extent this will allow me to see everything in my in my project so it will show me the whole elements of my project in one window and the second way to do that is that without your toolbar it is with your mouse so if you have a three buttons mouse it will be so easy for you to do that let's say that i'm using now my scroll or middle button in my mouse i'll hold it and I'll move my mouse so this will be as orbit tool and let me use the same button but this time I'll just scroll up and scroll down if you scroll up it will zoom in if you scroll down it will zoom out and to use the band while using your keyboard and mouse you can easily hold your shift and your scroll together and move your mouse so I'm holding my shift and my scroll and I'm moving so this is for the pan now that we've talked about navigation about your toolbars and anything else in this tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about drawing of course in this session it will be so simple and I'm gonna talk just about the basics and the main tools just so we can get into the other commands in the next tutorials I don't want to make it so intense to you in the first tutorial so to start drawing you can use your left hand toolbar or you can easily choose if you really remember the shortcuts for your commands you can use your keyboard so let's say that I want to use the line tool right here I can easily hit L on my keyboard and it will take me to the line command let's try that so I just pressed on my L and now I'll show you something really important in SketchUp. Let's say that I want to draw a line, but I want to make sure that it's drawing in the 2D. To make sure that you're drawing on the 2D, you can click and see this green guide. Just follow that, the green and the red guide. These two guides will show you that you are drawing on the 2D because that means that you are using the X and Y. And if you see the blue line, or the blue guide that means you are drawing vertical line if you want to look that you can use your arrows in the keyboard let me do that okay so to look the green axis you can simply press on your left arrow on the keyboard if you want to look your red axis you can simply press on the right arrow on your keyboard uh, if you want to look the blue axis you can also press the up arrow on your keyboard so you can notice in SketchUp whenever you draw a closed curve or a, a closed figure a figure that has three or more lines connected to each other it will create a face or surface and that's because SketchUp is a face based software so whenever you create something closed it will create a face or surface if you want to get rid of this thing you can simply select the surface and delete it and it will leave just the lines but you need to know that in order for SketchUp to create this face or surface it has to be on the same axis 
it has to be on the same plane so it created these these two surfaces because both are on this plane but let's say that we're creating a closed shape but on different planes will it close it let's see so i'll go to my line tool again and i'll draw let's say a line on this axis and then a vertical line and then i'll go down and then i'll close it so see so see it didn't create a surface because part of this is on a plane and another part is on a different plane so let's say that you've deleted the surface by accident and you want to bring it back you can easily trace one of these four edges and it will bring it back of course you can also use these type of shapes to draw let's say that i want to use the rectangle let's say that i want to draw it on the green axis so in today's video we've created an account we've logged into our account we've introduced the interface of the sketchup how you can save your file and rename it and we've discussed the toolbars that we have and the navigation and some or maybe only two of our tools so in the next tutorial i'm gonna keep explaining and exploring the sketchup for web with you it's so easy you can learn it faster than you think so this was the end of our tutorial today in the next video i'm gonna dive into the sketchup more i'm gonna explain it and in a very easy and simple way don't forget to subscribe like share comment and hit the notifications bell on so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video but for now don't forget to practice and repeat this video so you can get the maximum information See you in the next one. Bye.